Welcome to part two of building a full-size Zoltar Fortune Talon machine running on microbits. Thanks for tagging along. This is what it currently looked like, like at the end of part one. We got something working and was quite pleased with the progress I made and uh, decided though to make the framework a bit more sturdier because if other people guests of the house and workshop or maybe the public if we took it out and about um, it needed to be a lot safer than it actually was so um, it actually took a lot of wood actually to, to actually make a sturdier frame but as you can see uh, you can see the, the upper part is slowly coming together and eventually it's the idea that we'll interchange the top part for whatever function or feature um, I want to show at the time with the bottom bit doing all the collecting of the money and activating um, circuitry and things above it in the in the top part. It actually looked really good. Um, this was the most exciting bit when you finally see it all starting to come together. And uh, just to prove that it uh, yeah, all worked, we um, I put it all back together in its housing, popped some money in the slot. I really like that coin plate, by the way, really nice. And off it goes. I always like to test everything, anything new that I add, I always like to test it because um, many a time I've gone further down the road and it doesn't work and uh, it just takes ages to backtrack and fault find. Now this works really well with the, with the arrow pointing to the yes or no decision but I wanted uh, something a little different this time and I wanted to make a crystal ball so I found this old lamp didn't want to buy anything new so I like to work with what I've got I found this old lamp that sort of looks like a crystal ball and the idea is we're going to get it to light up light light up green if it's uh, a yes for your decision and a red if it's no and for that still using the micro bit I'm using the halo the halo is like a programmable ring of lights and what I've done I've got it flashing randomly different colors while Zoltar is in his standby mode the crystal ball will just cycle through some colors just you know grabbing the attention of anybody walking by and what I'm gonna do is just simulate the button press like so so when they put the money in um, what it will do it will then pause for a while while the person can ask their question and then it will glow um, either green or red and it's a it's random so it, it's so it'll be a random decision yes or no it pauses again before going back to its standby mode of cycling through random colors, waiting for another question to be asked. In this case, it's a no, because it's red. The code for this, if you've got a halo, they are so much fun, but the, <coughs> the code for it is really simple indeed. Really simple. And as you can see on the screen, um, it comes in two parts. So the forever loop just cycles through random colors while it's in standby mode. And that forever loop is interrupted when pin one, i.e. the coin um, switch is activated. And what it'll do, it'll go through its pauses, um, selecting a random number, like tossing a coin. And if it's heads, it's red. If it's tails, it's green, that sort of thing. Put it all together. Um, I made a little stand for it and it actually works really well. Again, every bit of progress on this project now really makes it look fantastic, I think. And here we go, pop the coin in just to give it a go. Um, it still goes through the cycle of Zoltar's eyes, as you can see, and it pauses. Ask your question, is this gonna be okay? No, well, it is random. So if you're not happy with the outcome, you can pop more money in and have a go. <laughs> the switch, um, the coin switch, can't power, because I've got two micro bits now, can't power both micro bits at one. So you, I can't trigger it with, with, one, uh, with the coin switch. So what I do, I get the first micro bit to then do the cycling of the blinking eyes. And then what happens is um, the first micro bit will run a servo motor as we'll see in a second. So it goes through the cycle of blinking eyes. It'll then activate another servo, which crudely just you know, simulates a button press. And that activates the second micro bit, which, which uh, activates the random color change in the crystal ball. 
all really good. <laughs> now, Zoltar doesn't have a blue face in real life, so out came the paints. The acrylic paints, and I started painting his mask. This was a mask that was from like Squid Game that I found on Thingiverse, so I 3D printed it uh, out after scaling it down. I think I scaled it down too much, to be honest. It's a little bit too small, but started painting it. And it looks creepy as anything, I think. So instead of his blue face, it's a more realistic one. And those eyes are just, oh, those eyes are nightmare fuel, aren't they? I gave the cabinet a bit of a spray paint. I'm always a big fan of the rattle can because it's just so cheap. It's really cheap to put together. So I started spraying away and it, again, it looks fantastic. Just a simple um, coat of paint really makes it look fantastic. And I found some cloth um, and some uh, wooden so hands that artists use to draw from. Um, just I quickly put it together. The body is just cardboard tube. I am rubbish at making bodies, it would appear, for fortune tellers. So the plan is to go on the hunt for like a like a mannequin, a child mannequin that I can dress in uh, like a, a gypsy or fortune teller's fancy dress outfit. Even a pirate, child's pirate outfit would be, um, would be uh, appropriate in this case. I obviously want to replace his flat cap on his head. So I'm going to put the turban on and, and the light. So there's lots of different, lots of different um, options available. I also downloaded some Zoltar sayings off the internet and put in a little speaker at the top. Um, and uh, yeah, so while he's in standby mode, he will actually cycle through his sayings as well. Like, I am Zoltar, as you can probably hear. Um, really good fun stuff and uh, already um, it's, it's, it's proving a very popular project with, uh, with, with visitors to the house. So there you go. Um, I've come on a long way. There's still a long way to go, but thanks for watching and stay tuned.